Well, hello in this rusty glove box today, and what we're going to do today is we're going to repair a little cell phone clip. Uh, I was getting in the pickup the other day and hung this on the seat or something like that, and man, it just snapped that clip off as slick as a button. But lucky me, I was able to find all my parts, the little ball bearing clip and all. And uh, so we're going to go back through the steps on uh, putting it back together. I've got uh, some pretty high powered glue here and uh, I think if I tear it apart next time it's going to be a catastrophic event. So uh, anyway, let's get started. Well here we go, here's all the parts. Here's the clip and the little button that pushes on there. And there's the little ball bearing. I wasn't going to attempt this but I, I found the ball bearing. It had fell inside the vehicle and and so uh, I thought well man I just I might as well give this a try I've got some of this high powered glue that I'm gonna put in here and yes I know I'm filling this in pretty good uh, and hopefully it's not gonna make too big of a mess but I do want this thing stuck, this go round. This right here, you can see how that little clip is on the back, I think. And it's got the little, uh, kind of little points on each part of that circle. That's where the ball bearing rides in. It will end up going on there, something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break away for a little bit. I'm going to get that ball bearing in there. And then I'm going to position uh, that button. And uh, one thing what I did on this cap, I don't know if you can see it, but I drilled a hole in there because, like I said, I figured on putting an ample amount of uh, this adhesive in there and I wanted it to have some place to go. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to just force it down on there with no place for it to go. So anyway, let's see if this works. Well, here we go. It, it was really quite comical. I, my first attempt to get that bearing in there and the button pushed on there to hold the clip. Of course, it, it slipped and that bearing went skipping across the floor so I ended up having to use uh, my magnet stick to uh, pick it up and uh, really that was, I thought, man, of course that's going to happen, you know. But anyway, we got that thing clamped and let's see, I believe the instructions say that allow 24 hour curing time and it is fully cured to maximum bonding strength in 72 hours so I don't need that clip just real soon I'm gonna let it sit there uh, gonna gonna leave it alone let it cure and we'll see how that does but I well here we are come back the next morning and uh, use some of this adhesive. It's it's not like super glue or anything like that, but it is pretty tough. And uh, it works just like uh, new. Uh, thank goodness I was able to recover all the parts when this thing flew apart. That's really the first time I've been able to do that. Uh, I was able to recover the ball bearing and that little plastic cap and all, but uh, I think a person could probably uh, locate a little small ball bearing of some sort. Um, but anyway, uh, I gave this a try because I just happened to have all the parts and so it looks like a good save. We'll probably uh, keep this on the shelf and we'll use it when I break the next one. 
So anyway, guys, I do appreciate you coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.